Hey y'all, it's Amanda with Tap Mom and the Bake Brigade. Hope everybody's having a good Sunday, August 7th. This is Mornings with Jesus, our daily devotionals. If you're new here, our daily devotions are a Bible verse and then an inspirational story and we end with a faith step. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, consider doing so. It is free and it does help the channel uh, grow. So here we go. Our Bible verse goes as follows. But as for me, I know that my Redemir lives and he will stand upon the earth at last. Job 19.25. I'm going to reread that because I'm not exactly sure. But as for me, I know that my re re Redeemer, my, <laughs> my Redeemer lives and he will stand upon the earth at last. Now our inspirational story. I opened the, the small black box Aunt Joyce had mailed me and gasped. Honey, look at this. I said to my husband, Kevin. The pendant I held up to the light was crafted in two different colors of gold and was shaped like an angel in flight. What a lovely gift. My Aunt Joyce had recently been cleaning out her jewelry box and came across the angel. It was uniquely fashioned to gift from a friend many years before. She told me, since you're an angel, you're, since you're my angel, I feel you should have it. I, I wiped away my, I wiped away happy tears as I thought of the miracle this gift re represented. When I was 14, I lived with Aunt Joyce and Uncle Dwayne. They gave me a stable home during a rough patch in our broken nuclear family. At first, Joyce Dwayne and I lived in harmony, but my teenage insecurities and my aunt's ways soon clashed. When I returned home to my parents after only seven months, the feelings between Aunt Joyce and me were anything but angelic. Over the decades, Jesus changed both our hearts. I grew up and acknowledged the world didn't spin to please me, and Aunt Joyce softened. We became friends, good enough friends, that she considered me her angel. Wow. My favorite quality of Jesus is how he loves to take the broken pieces, places in our lives and fix them. But he doesn't simply repair wounded souls. He mends and heals and makes them better than before. I believe the world for that is redeemer the word for that is redeemer jeanette lavallee faith step find a drawing or painting of an angel thank jesus for thank jesus that his power to redeem your brokenness is greater than every angelic force in the universe well okay then <laughs> think I needed that one. Well, I hope y'all have a wonderful Sunday. It's been my pleasure to read this for you. I hope God blesses you today. And you know that I love you. So does Jesus. God bless you. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye now.